Hey there, everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fly and eventually land um, with a tail rotor failure. I'll be doing this in a single player scenario, which you can download off the Steam Workshop. A link will be in the description. Basically, in this scenario, you can do all kinds of things um, to practice your helicopter flight, such as engine tail rotor failures. There's the ability to, if you're about to crash, you can uh, you can escape the crash, so you can keep practicing seamlessly. A um, whole bunch of things. Uh, very, very useful. So today I'll just be going over tail rotor failures. So here I am at the Altus Airport, uh, and I'm going to cut out my tail rotor. Um, I'm not spinning out of control yet, but once I take off, I will be. First we'll go off, uh, go over how to fly um, without this tail rotor, because you'll see, as I take off, I'm now spinning wildly. What we want to do is we want to gain speed in a certain direction. That way our, our helicopter stables itself out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bank in a certain direction. You may want to get some altitude um, to do this. It does take a little bit of um, practice to get the hang of. Sometimes it, to not crash. Um, but eventually your helicopter will stable itself out. Sometimes it can get stuck like this where you're going backwards, not forwards. Um, and you kind of just have to, like, get yourself out of it without using your rudder pedals, obviously, because you, you, uh, you can only bank and you can only pitch. You can't... You don't have access to uh, your tower usually does. So after a few tries there, I was able to get my helicopter going forward. Basically, as, as you're flowing through the air, uh, your helicopter is drag, and it's going to go to the direction that minimizes drag. And so that's not going to be totally sideways, but it will by, be straight or backwards. But you'll be a little tilted because you don't have a tail rotor, so you're constantly trying to rotate um, clockwise. Um, but it'll either be forward or backwards, and sometimes you get backwards, like we just had there. But now we're up to speed, and we can fly wherever we want to. We're pretty stable. You can bank to turn. Um, so now how do you land? It's two ways that I'm going to recommend. Um, or actually, one of them I recommend, one I don't. If you're a beginner, you may want to do the very, very easy way of turn on auto hover, go really high up, then your helicopter will be at zero speed and you can just let it down. Very easy to do, very beginner friendly, but also very dangerous in the sense you can get shot down really easy. You're way up high in the air and you're not moving. Very easy to shoot down. The second way I'll recommend, um, might take a little bit of practice if you're new to it, is perform some sort of J-hook landing. Uh, if you don't know what a J-hook landing is, um, it's basically where you go really fast, or you know, go when you have speed, and then you you bank completely left or right, and you pull up to bleed off that speed, um, and then you land, you, you reorient yourself and touch down. The advantage of a J hook landing when you have no tail rotor is there's a lot less time when you are at low speed, and so there's a lot less time that you will spin out. Um, so we'll do that here. Just a moment ago, I had to, uh, had to reorient myself because I was a bit too low speed and uh, ended up losing my... I wasn't stabilized anymore. So, let's do that J-hook landing. Um, it won't be a big, nice and fancy one, so I'm going to play it kind of safe, as uh, I'd rather not crash. I don't exactly have my, my pedals, so I can't do the best, best J-hook. So... There we go. Bank to the right, pulling up, pulling up, bleeding that speed. We're going to start to rotate here, but as you kind of let yourself go down, you're going to stabilize a little bit and touch down. There we go. We're touched down without a tail rotor. Um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you're in the 609th, reach out to anybody with uh, a transport pilot, ATC, or uh, advanced training certification, or anybody you might know that pilots a lot. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Stay safe out there.